When I first put the video up in 2021, never ever thought it was gonna go as big as it did. My hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not by choice. The Gorilla Glue Girl. She decided to use it to replace her usual hairspray. Gorilla Glue, yeah, that's right. My name is Tessica Brown. I'm a 42-year-old mom of five. I live in Valley, Louisiana, where I run a daycare center. But you may know me as Gorilla Glue Girl. This woman is in a very sticky situation. It don't move. It don't move. It don't move. It don't move. A Louisiana woman who went viral. Tessica Brown, the woman who sprayed Gorilla Glue on her hair. Back in February of 2021, I'm doing my hair per usual. Anytime I do my hair, I like it to be tight. My motto is, if it ain't tight, it ain't right. I was going out on a date, and when I went to go use my Got To Be Glue spray, air came out. So now I'm running through the house looking for something else that I can use, and there it was, the Gorilla Glue spray just staring me in the face, and I was like, it shouldn't hurt, which was a bad, bad idea. Look, you wipe it off and nothing happens. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use this because I could come right home, wash it off, and I'll be okay. I've washed my hair 15 times and it don't move. I knew what Gorilla Glue Spray was because I used it around the house. I used Gorilla Glue Spray to put up my Christmas decorations and you know, they usually fall down and I just spray it again and put it back up. I just didn't think for one second that it was gonna stick as good as it did. And it turned into a helmet. What? What? Look. But they were telling me where I messed up was when I blow dried it. And when I tell you it did not move, it did not move. I spent 30 days by myself trying to get it out. I tried dishwashing liquid. I tried baby oil. I tried cooking oil. I tried shell. I tried everything in this house. After 30 days of trying to do this myself, I took it to social media. Somebody out there was going to be able to help me. Yo, look, my hair. It don't move. Before this all happened, I may have had like one or two, maybe three TikToks. My daughter was the one that said, Ma, put it on TikTok. The next morning, my daughter, she's all excited. Ma, you went viral. Your video has over a million views. I'm sitting here like, did anybody say what I can do to get this off? I really just thought it was going to be people from my neighborhood saying, you know, use this or use that. But this went way beyond my neighborhood. Wendy Williams talked about me for like two weeks horribly. I was a nothing girl. She might have something wrong with her or something like that mentally. And then we all look bad because she did that. My mama ended up calling Wendy Williams and say, Wendy, my baby made a mistake. Could you cut us some slack? And that was it. Never heard from Wendy again. I was on late night shows. You ran out of hair product and you used Gorilla Glue instead. <laughs> this went way beyond what I thought this was going to be. Just like I thought it was going to have some negative comments about the situation. It was horrible. Social media was horrible. Some kids at my children's school made up this horrible song and naturally had my kids crying at school. Two days after the video went viral, I received hate mail to my house, to my address. If I was a weak-minded person, I probably would have did what they told me to do, and that was unalive myself. I even had a letter sent to my house with a person holding the head that they had been cut off just holding it in the hand. The reason I was able to get hate mail so easily because my address was already on social media because I have a daycare center. Don't ever, ever use this. About two days after the viral video was out, I started seeing copycat. Behind everything that I said in the video, people still tried to do this to prove me wrong. The girl with the purple hair. I need to go to the hospital so they can remove this Gorilla Glue. I have no idea what to do. After 30 days, I couldn't get it out. The people are telling me to use this, that. So now it's stuck, stuck to it. It looks a mess. It hurts. It's burning. Ended up in the emergency room. The emergency room doctor told me I can get it off with acetone, but it's going to take about 24 hours to sit here and really get it off. So I asked her, can you give me this stuff? Cause my sister and my mom could do it. And that way, you know, I could get a little break every now and again. The phone started ringing. I answered the phone and it happened to be Gina Rodriguez, the talent manager that wanted to represent me. So Gina ended up calling me saying, I have great news about the doctor, Michael K. O'Bain, and he's willing to take this out of your head and he's willing to do it for free. They flew me to California. 
and I met with Dr. Michael Kilbane. He used this concoction on a mannequin with real human hair. He started working on a solution that would be safe and effective. We worked on it then until we find a perfect solution. The next day I go over there, four hours I was in surgery and I woke up and the glue was gone. I felt like a kid on Christmas morning with a whole bunch of presents under the tree to literally be able to touch my scalp. I don't know, I, 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 can't, I can't even explain it. We all got together and we were thinking like the glue is out. Now I need my hair to grow back. We started putting all kinds of different chemicals together, but the last thing that we came up with really made my hair grow and it made it grow fast. So we was like, you know what? We can put a label on this and sell it. So that's what we did. We were selling bottles of this online. We paused the sales because we can't find a manufacturer to keep up with the sales. So months later, I make this song to tell everybody exactly what happened. Everybody keeps saying, you should make a song of what happened to you. So I did. My hair, come on, come on. It don't move, it don't move my hair. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move my hair, my hair, my hair. Worst cooks in America ended up getting in touch with my manager, Gina Rodriguez, saying, this season, it's viral sensation and I'll be perfect for it. I'm making some shrimp linguine. This is the only thing that I cook that people can hold down. Week seven, I got eliminated. The amount of money that I made throughout this whole ordeal, it was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. I still have my daycare. Daycare is never going away. I'll be able to pass this daycare down to my kids and they can pass it down to their kids. The one thing I've learned, don't substitute anything. If you don't have it, go get it. If you can't get it, go without. Throughout this whole experience, there was some good things, some bad things, but a lot of positive things. So after this happened, I'm in the nail shop getting my nails done. And a girl just came up to me, she started hugging me. She ran out of hair glue and ended up using super glue to glue in her hair. I just really think it made her feel like she wasn't alone in it. But a lot of people had substituted something for something and it turned out to be a bad idea. They just never came forward and said nothing. Now it's years later, it's kind of going back to normal, but everybody knows me. No matter where I go, somebody's gonna recognize me. I would never, ever put Gorilla Glue in my hair again. Not for fame, not for money. I don't care, you can offer me a million dollars, I won't do it. I actually still keep Gorilla Glue in the house today. Same spot, like I really use it around my house. Just won't use it in my hair.